What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to your 15th Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use methods with parameters. Now, in this tutorial, we're also going to be building um, a custom function where we're going to let the user enter their name in the outside class and it's going to call it in the main class and um, just say like hello to whatever your name is or something. So if that sounds complicated, then I'll follow along and I promise I'll make it easier. It's probably easier just to see than me to even say, so uh, follow along. So again, we have our main apples class with our main function or method in here. And we have our outside tuna class with the method that we call. So let's go ahead and clear everything out of your public class, uh, tuna, if you have anything in there, because we're going to be adding a new method. So go ahead and type as I do, public void, and we want our simple message again. And instead of just adding empty parameters, this time we needed to take um, an argument in our parameters. And let's go ahead and make a string variable and call it name. So again, anytime you have something in your parameters, it's called an argument. An argument or extra parameter data is pretty much any extra information that the method needs in order to work. So let me show you guys what this method actually does and you'll see why it needs extra data. What it does is just system out print line. It just prints on the screen hello and then it prints the name. So if you don't have a name it will print hello and nothing. So again an argument is any extra information that the program needs to run. So again what this is going to do is print hello and then your name. So before we use it, we need to do a couple stuff to our main function. Of course, to enter our name, we need to import the scanner or else we have no way of importing uh, data to um, Java. So go ahead and import java.util.scanner. And this is going to allow us to use a scanner so we can give um, information to our program. Next, we need to make a scanner object. So let's go ahead, scanner, name it input, new scanner. And I believe that I taught you guys how to do this in the last tutorial. So um, you should know what I'm doing. System in, and that's that for that line. That makes uh, that we can use the scanner. Next, go ahead and do what we did last time and create a tuna object so we can use um, this object to get the information from the tune class. Uh, we just need that empty parameters. Next, let's go ahead and print system out print line, spell it right. And we just want to write a prompt to the user so it knows what to do. Enter your name here. So, this is pretty much the only thing that's going to go on right now. We now have uh, text on the screen that says enter your name here now we need the next thing they enter to be stored in the variable name so let's go ahead and make string name so the variable name is equal to input next line and I told you guys how to uh, input integers using the scanners anytime you want to input a string use this next line method so again anything that the user enters is going to be stored in the variable name. So now what it's going to do is look at name and say hello name. So if you entered Bucky, it's going to say all right, Bucky equals name. So hello Bucky. So now before we do that, we need to actually use that object to call the method. So tuna object and go ahead and put your dot separator simple message with your name parameters. And again, um, unlike last time where you don't use anything at all, you have to put the argument that it takes in here. And this says, again, that this isn't just a method that um, you don't need any extra information for. We're going to give you this extra information for something because we want you to do something with it. So go ahead and let's run this program and then I'll show you guys what it does later. Enter your name here. Um, Bucky Roberts and then it says hello Bucky Roberts and let me talk you guys through this one last time we imported the scanner because that's how we uh, how Java allows us to input stuff in the computer like I typed in Bucky Roberts without this I wouldn't be able to type in anything 
Next, in our main function, we said, all right, we want to put this. This just allows you to use the scanner after you imported it. We next made an object because without an object, we can't use anything in this class, as I taught you in the last tutorial. Next, we just put a prompt on the screen. We learned this like in the first tutorial. Um, just showed what we needed to do. Next, we put, all right, we have a variable called name. We want this to be equal to anything we type in. Be, and that's so um, if you have different users that are using this program, it doesn't just type the same message. You can use it for a bunch of different uh, users no matter what they type in for their name. Next, we said, all right, in the class tuna, use a method called simple message that takes an argument of name. So it's going to go look at all the classes, find the one called tuna, and find the method that's called simple message, and, and do whatever it says to do. And what this method says to do is say, all right, take a variable called name, which we already had. We just gave it to it. And then just print out hello, whatever the name is. So it says, all right, hello, Bucky Roberts. So that is how you use a method with a parameter. And that's what parameters do. It's just the extra bit of information that you might need to uh, run a program. So again, that's your quick tutorial on how to use methods with parameters in a different class. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all my latest videos. And also check out my contests. So again, thank you, and I hope to see you in my next tutorial.